Hey gang, happy uh, Homebrew Wednesday, Towboy here. Uh, just had um, early March uh, into autumn now, so I thought I'd uh, take down my hops. So uh, let's jump outside and I'll show you how I do it. Catch you there. Hoi! And I'm back. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, is um, I'm just going to take down the trellis here. Uh, snip, snip all this down, cut the top, and I'll bring the whole thing down. I'll just sort of put all my little um, hops in a bucket, and um, I'll just uh, run you through uh, bits and pieces how you know when your hops are ready, how to um, harvest them, and all that sort of jazz. Cool. So um, with hops, um, if you harvest them too early guys, you'll find that you miss out on a lot of the bitter, pungent goodness. Um, I normally, I just pulled a few off the, the binds here and I just sort of wait until they're nice and papery. Sort of feels like that sort of rice paper that you buy at the stationery stores. And I want to see a nice concentration, you probably can't pick that up, it's not very good. You want to see lots of the old uh, lupal in there, lots of little yellow dots, that's what I'm looking for. Sort of rub it in your hand and you'll get that sort of sticky pungent, that's what I'm looking for. You want them to all sort of fall apart like that. Beautiful. It smells like uh, an IPA, look at that. Lovely hoppy goodness. It's very sticky, very sticky. Mm. In New Zealand here, um, we normally uh, harvest them around about late February, early March in New Zealand. This is about year nine of growing these ones for me. Uh, and I actually cut the, when they first started growing shoots, I actually cut them down. Uh, and seems a little bit abnormal to be cutting them down to the rhizome, but uh, it's, it's reaped the rewards. I've got a uh, good yield this year, so I'll be doing that again um, next year. Just a little, a little tip. Uh, when I cut my binds down, I generally wear gloves because they can sort of scratch, they've got little, um, you know, they're crawlers so they can be very sort of scratchy on your skin and if you've got uh, allergies and that, uh, you can get um, little allergens on your arms and everything makes it very scratchy, so I'll either wear long, I won't bother with long sleeves this year, but I'll probably just wear some gloves. Uh, the reason why you cut them about two or three feet from the rhizome, it's a good idea. Um, strengthens the roots over winter uh, so I might do that in the past I've cut them right down but uh, you know you give them about two or three feet cut it and uh, it'll prepare it for next year I've heard of some guys getting a second harvest about a month after the first but uh, I've, I know I've never had that myself Um, I was going to be uh, using some wet hops uh, straight into a brew, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I was going to do a little smash beer, but um, I might just uh, freeze dry them and, and uh, uh, vacuum pack them and freeze dry them this year. Um, see how we go, see what happens. See if I get time uh, next week to put down a smash. Uh, I'll be storing them um, that way and I'll be using them pretty quick. I find the longer that they are frozen, they're still and frozen, that they begin to sort of go brown. And uh, I used some old hops uh, a couple of years ago and they um, tasted pretty gross, very leafy, vegetably. Tastes a little bit like onion. So uh, yeah, use them, use them pretty quick. I wouldn't leave them in there any more than three to four months.
just remembering if you are using whole leaf hops guys that um, it's roughly a 6 to 1 ratio as opposed to hop pellets um, which means that 100 grams of um, pellet hops is equivalent to about 600 grams of whole leaf hops uh, this is mainly it's mainly because the hops are, are mostly water whereas the uh, pellet hops have been as they go through a, a, a specific um, they go through a, um, a process uh, which you're not going through here I'm going to cut these bad boys down and um, stick them in a bucket let's do it So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the binds down, guys. Uh, I should have taken my own advice and wore gloves because, geez, that makes you that makes your arms itch. Um, there comes a the tedious part. Just pick them off, put them in a bin, put them in the uh, bucket. So uh, catch you back here after that. Welcome back, guys. It's thirsty work that, um, but well worth it. Managed to get myself uh, probably a bit oh, more smelling there. So that's about a 20 litre uh, pail and it's about two thirds full. So I haven't weighed it yet, but I imagine it's around about uh, 500 grams possibly. Oh, ah, that's heaven. That's heaven. The, uh, aroma that one um, so I'll leave it in there overnight and um, just fix the angle and um, oh in the morning I'm going to put it on my um, we're going to put them out and uh, bleed them here a little bit and I have an oast that I use an oast is one of these things it's just like a uh, sort of a screen and uh, Oops, that's a bit of a fix. Put all your uh, hops on here and just sort of let them uh, dry out. I'll cover that next week. Um, I think you know what I do. Then probably go into um, how to store your hops, uh, how to uh, freeze them and all that sort of thing, how long to um, to leave them. So uh, yeah, good haul. Anyway, I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna have a beer. Check one of these out. Behemoth Opportunity New World Style Double IPA. Thought I'd pick this up in the store. Pretty good. 8% alcohol. Double IPA. Nice. Cool. Let's rock it. Probably the best um, haul I've had from that. Um, oh. uh, from the hops. Um, that I've had since I've had it in the nine years, so you're pretty pleased about that. We also had a um, blackberry plant that just went nuts this year. We must have got uh, oh, bucket loads of blackberries. So I might even try and do a side of all those. Going all in. What have we got? Burnt amber colour, mostly carbonated, nice tight white bubbles. Take a nose. Fruit salad, much. Very nice, very nice. Behemoth Opportunity Double IPA New World Style. Cheers. Here's to uh, dank hops and um, 
fruity IPAs. Really nice, really nice, nice and um, a nice sort of crisp bitterness up front. This one, a little bit of a multi uh, biscuity backbone, as they say. What have we got? Here at Nelson, we normally have the March Fest, which um, sort of a celebration of local uh, um, independent breweries and harvesting season, all that sort of thing. But it's been uh, all that sort of jazz, but it's been cancelled this year due to uh, COVID, so it's a bit of a shame. It'd have been nice to check that out one more time. Um, so, yeah, that's me, guys. So, I hope you've learned a thing or two. Um, Support the brewer, like and subscribe guys, smash the like button. Uh, part 2 will be coming at you next week. Um, that'll be all about storage, as I say, storage and freezing and everything like that. And um, packing bags, all that sort of deal. So stay tuned for that. Cheers for watching guys. Tell boy. Out.